everybody, I'm Rachel Ballinger, and you're watching Cook That, a cooking competition that pits two YouTubers against each other to see who can create the best dish, or at least an edible one. Ew! Ew! Yes. What? What? Mm. Mm. This might not work. Oh my god! Today in the kitchen, we have Adrian Finch and Remy Ashton. How are you guys doing? A little bit nervous, but I got this and I'm gonna win. I don't know about that. I'm pretty experienced in the kitchen, I guess you oh. could say. No big deal. Okay, then let's get to it. My name is Adrian Finch, I'm from Seattle. I do a lot of relatable comedy videos, a little bit of beauty and fashion stuff. Hey, I'm Remy and I am from Orange County. And I have a beauty and lifestyle channel called Miss Remy Ashton. I make like DIY videos and things like that. I'll be scoring you guys based on taste, creativity, and how true you stay to the dish that you're trying to make. And the person with the most points at the end wins. You guys up for the challenge? Yeah. Up for it. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> Cooking is completely new to me, so this experience will be for sure interesting. I don't know what to expect. So I love cooking. I'm not the best at it, but like I enjoy doing it. All right. You guys have 30 minutes to make me a delicious. I'm dying. I'm so nervous right now. <laughs> do it, please. <laughs> a delicious meal. A mystery box. I have no idea what that means. That could be 800 different things. I'm already just at a loss. I, I'm freaking out a little bit right now, to be honest. It looks like a box of Cheez-Its. So you guys have 30 minutes. You can use as much or as little as this mystery box as you want. It is a cheeseburger macaroni instant meal, all right? I have never made cheeseburger macaroni. I've never made a cheeseburger. I didn't even know that cheeseburger macaroni was a thing. So 30 minutes starts now. Make me whatever you want. Already? Okay, the clock is ticking. Oh, Go God. for it. Just grab your box. There is mystery seasoning. It's got like that like font on it that like expires in like 2052 or something. Oh, it is elbow macaroni, which is my fave. Oh, me too. Oh, or shells. No, I'm, yeah. Actually, I don't want to talk to you. Bye. Okay, oh. Someone's getting competitive. <laughs> Already? God, we're like one minute in. I like to think I'm not competitive, but apparently I guess I really am. I am so willing to take her down if I have to, though. I am prepared to go full force and take Remy down if I need to, but as long as it doesn't kill a friendship in the making, friendship is very important to me. Boil the pasta, that's a good first step. Too much freedom is like kind of confusing because I wasn't sure where to go. I didn't really have any paths. Well, initially, okay, I'm thinking tacos. But I feel like I shouldn't make tacos if it's hamburger pasta. Sick. Hey, what's up? Hey, girl. Wow, this is like a very stocked fridge. So there's a really big kitchen with a lot of ingredients. And for someone like me who is quite indecisive, that is a recipe, <laughs> literally, for disaster. Temp it? Ooh, I'm looking at you. Two blinks <laughs> means turkey, one blink means temp it. <laughs> I decided to go with ground beef just because it cooks faster and also I don't have to cook it completely through, so if I mess up, then nobody knows. Is there a food processor? That's what I need. I watch the Food Network Snapchat story every night and from what I've seen, I needed breadcrumbs, so I had to find a food processor. How do you even cook this? No, I'm not gonna do that. Bacon? Sure. Bacon's good, no, but that's so random. So obviously you can see my biggest struggle is deciding what I'm making. Okay, no, I'm gonna make some beef tacos on a side of pasta. She just like had her mindset on tacos. So we got pasta and she's like, okay, tacos. So I don't know what she's gonna do with it. <sighs> Guys, you have 25 more minutes. So Remy's over here like processing bread and I'm like, what? Insert pusher? I inserted the pusher. As we could see, I did not know how to work a food processor. How do you? Ah! <laughs> I almost shot my hand off. It was a little scary. Being indecisive does not come in handy right now. I will say that. I forgot I was even making pasta. So the pasta's just kind of there as a backup. You know, always gotta have a plan. Because I don't have one. We're gonna let that sit, you know, a little longer. I know what that is, but I'm taking it. I have never made meatballs before, but I watched the Food Network and I've seen them make them. I have a question. Do you like spice or no spice? Nah, you have to surprise me. I don't know. All right. I'll go right in like the middle. Okay, so from what I've seen, to make meatballs, you need some sort of ground meat, breadcrumbs, and then eggs to like bind it all. So I copy them. You're like putting stuff, you know? Dude, I sound like an idiot. Ooh. All I know is these knives are really cute. I know they're so cute. All right, you guys have 20 more minutes. Oh my Lord, I haven't done anything. Yours looks real profesh. I'm going the more bootleg way. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna kind of slap the beef on in there. That was kind of aggressive. All right. This is like literally not even gonna cook in 20 minutes. You're eating raw beef for dinner. So excited. I am panicking a little bit because I don't feel like my stove is getting hot. And if it's not getting hot, it's gonna take the beef a really long time to cook. Come through, burner, I need you right now. Oh, that is hot. That's a little too hot. I almost set the kitchen on fire because I left the heat on for too long. Does anybody see this fire that's about to happen? 
All right, you guys have 16 more minutes. Wow, that's nerve wracking. Okay, got the pasta. I'm gonna make like little baby meatballs. I at least have one thing. It is a bowl of plain pasta. I forgot to cook my pasta. Ha, she forgot <laughs> to cook her pasta. Mine's just gonna be fresher than yours though. Remy is over here like in the zone. That freaks me out, okay? No one needs fresh pasta. Let's try this again. I grew up not eating red meat, so why am I making it? I could have gone easily for the turkey. The turkey was looking at me, it was right there, and I chose the beef. Why? I don't know. I'm trying to like think and do at the same time. You're like talking a lot. I know. And I'm not talking at all. I'm gonna show I'm up in now. the zone. I think she's the type that talks when she's nervous, so she's just talking a mile a minute. So we can talk, it's fine, whatever. Maybe it was a tactic to uh, try to distract her. I'm cutting something, ladies and gentlemen. This looks pretty good. You know, it's not about how good the tomatoes look, it's about how many tomatoes <laughs> there are. Quantity over quality. That's how I All look All right, you guys have eight more minutes. minutes. Holy. Okay. Oh my God. I might not finish in time. <sighs> I see a lot of fruit. I've opened this so many times and just stared. Are you still getting ingredients right now? Yeah, you know, I'm really just experimenting. Wow, I really gotta buckle down. Not good. You know what, at this rate, we're all winners, right? <laughs> I'm a more is more kind of person, so I just kind of kept throwing stuff in there. I want to be Remy a lot, but like now more than ever, I want to be Remy. This is like carrot orange. Five more minutes. All right, now I'll put these back in. Let the flavors all really meld. Is that what like, chefs say? I also threw in some sauce and thought that it would go well with all the flavors going on. But I really want to use more things for the boxes so that I can actually get points and hopefully beat Adrian. Simmer. Simmer for 10 minutes? I can't simmer it for 10 minutes. I don't have 10 minutes to simmer it. Oh my God, we're about to go vegetarian up in this place. <laughs> Whoa. All right, guys, pause real quick for the remainder of the cooking time. No. Oh my gosh. I see the horse masks and I'm like, stop. Are you serious? Oh, this is gonna smell bad. Have fun cooking, huh? It's awful, you can't see anything, you can't see where you're going, you have like no peripheral vision. <laughs> Don't touch me, that is so scary. <laughs> I did get lucky though, I got the cute unicorn. I was sweaty and kind of disoriented. So yeah, let me cook while I can't see. I have to like open the mouth hole. Where's the microwave? <laughs> So I look over at Remy, she looks ridiculous. I realize how ridiculous I probably look, but she's still just going for it. It was truly inspiring. How am I gonna taste this pasta? Ah, what happened? It's so difficult to cook with this horse head on, and I'm sweating. I'm sweating right now just thinking about it. It was bad. Am I making a taco or a quesadilla? That's the question. How am I gonna chop with this? Only three more minutes, guys. Get your stuff on the plate. Wow. <laughs> I've never loved something more. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. I'm gonna just go ahead and assume that this is gonna be really good. Maybe some lime for decoration. Maybe some style points will take away from the food points, you know? What can I do to make my presentation better? I can hear Adrian. I hear her like in full panic, still talking. But I think that we're both like at the same level of like panic mode now. I don't know what that is, but it smells good. I really want to put some herbs on top, like as a nice little garnish, but I don't know what kind of herbs there are, and you can only see so much. I don't know what kind of herb this is, so I'm like trying to sniff it. <laughs> so from there, everything came together. I knew it. Tacos were the way. I was making tacos. All right, one and a half more minutes. Down to the wire. I look over at Remy's finished dish, and I am very impressed with her, and I couldn't let it get to me. They're little burritos, you know? Is it cilantro? I don't know. I might give you some fruit on the side because you know, a balanced diet really is just key. 30 seconds, that's like really just great. Make sure it looks good. <laughs> Who doesn't like strawberries with their tacos? I see Adrian's dish and I'm very impressed. I think it looks really good and it's actually something that I would definitely eat. 10, nine, eight, I'm done. seven, <laughs> six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands up and masks off. Oh. oh my god. Thank you. I didn't quite have a vision for my dish, to be honest. I kind of was just hoping for the best, but I think it actually turned out looking pretty good. I'm pretty proud. I am actually thoroughly impressed with myself. It looks amazing. So Adrian, please tell me the name of your dish. This right here is the infamous tacos a la hamburguesa. From my mystery box, I used the 
delicious one-of-a-kind seasoning. Mm -hmm. Beef, cheese, got some tomatoes, got some avocado, really just an array of flavors. How did you deal with the horse mask? I really think having the horse mask actually gave it that magic touch. Because wow! Of, I'm 100% sure that this horse head gave me power. Before the horse head, I was a mess. I couldn't do anything. And after the horse head, I felt on top of the world. All right, then I will try. I'm gonna squirt a little lime on this. I'm so excited. This. That was actually really good. <laughs> no way! <laughs> I think that seasoning actually tasted pretty good. Oh. It could have used a little more spice maybe. Yeah. But other than that, it was pretty good. Thank you, I'm yeah. so relieved and happy. All right, on to Remy's. So please, Remy, tell me the name of your dish. My dish name is Remy's Really Delicious Pasta. <laughs> and what from the mystery box did you put in here? All right, so we've got some pasta, and then uh, just for like a little added touch, I sprinkled a little bit of that cheese, and then I made some homemade meatballs. And then we've got some sauteed red bell peppers, some cherry tomatoes, a little jalapeno for a little spice. Sounds amazing, I'm gonna taste it. <laughs> That was a good meatball. Really? Yeah. Thank you so much. That was really good. The noodles were a little chewy. Okay. But the meatballs were delicious. The sauce was good. I think everything complemented each other nicely. Thank you. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go score you guys based on taste and creativity, and I will come back and tell you the winner. I am very, very nervous to find out. You just put so much time and effort in, you still wanna win. Oh my gosh, I am so nervous. My body is like shaking. I just wanna know who wins. It was amazing that you guys created something completely different from the same mystery box. Yeah, they were both very creative, but what it came down to was the mystery box itself. And the winner is... You're doing it again! <laughs> it's Remy. Oh. <laughs> I won! Woo! So... Remy's the winner. She used more ingredients from the mystery box. She used the pasta and the seasoning and the cheese, but they were both very delicious. I like both of them a lot. This definitely inspires me. I think I'm gonna cook more. If I really just took some time and learned how to cook a couple things, I would, I'd be an okay chef. All in all, I had a great time. I got closer with Adrian. I met Rachel. I had a good time. Thanks. Congratulations, Thanks. Remy. Thank you so much. You win your own meal. Yay. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to tune in next time to see more Cook That on Awesomeness TV.